Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, what I'm going to show today is how to install a Expel Headlight Protection Kit. This is a 2015 Impala LTZ, so this is my dad's car. And I'm going to be installing the Expel Kit, and then here's the, uh, the, the kit number. Um, so you can see what, it, what, they, um, what they claim. And this kit's a do-it-yourself kit, so if I flip it over, you know, it's got all the directions on how to apply it. So I've, I've installed these, this kit before on, an, on another, on my, actually my personal car, and it actually works really well. They actually last a long time. Uh, now this does come with a, so I'm going to open up the pamphlet here. I don't know if you guys can see that top line, but they're offering a five-year warranty on there, up to five years. So if anything happens, you can just call up Expel and they'll take care of you for it, take care of you. Um, so in the kit, you're going to get the headlight pieces. Let's see if I can separate them here. So you get one for the right and one for the left headlight. Now it does come with the fog light pieces on the bottom too. So you get both of those. Just going to separate these things too. So that's what these look like. Now there's a problem because I actually talked to Expel. And the kit that I have, uh, these uh, fog light pieces don't fit in the lower area. So let me just go over to the car and kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'll get the right one. Uh, they're not cut right. So I come over here and just lay it over. You can see that it's not cut right. So I did talk to Expel and they know it's a problem now that I talked to them and we're, they're gonna end up redoing the, the kit uh, they actually refunded, my, refunded me my money for the kit I think this kit was like around fifty five dollars uh, but I did get to keep whatever I had ordered so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the headlight pieces and to do, uh, to do this I'll show you what I what I use uh, as well so I've actually just cleaned the, the headlights I used the waterless wash to clean them up Actually, the headlights are coated. I actually did put. Um, okay, I got the coating in my hand. So I actually did put uh, OptiLens uh, on the headlights as soon as my dad bought this car because he bought it used. So I did. So it does have this on there. It's perfectly fine to put the Expel over that. It's been on, this stuff's been on the car for like six, seven months, so it's not going to be a problem. But as I was saying. I gave the, so the car's already been washed, and I ended up giving the headlights another uh, wipe down, and what I used is I used uh, McKee's N914 rinseless wash, and I actually, per the directions, I actually use it as a um, waterless wash, and I just wiped down the, uh, the headlights, so I just use this, put, I have this mixed in a spray bottle, uh, just to wipe down the headlights, so they're already prepped. I'm not going to take off the coating that's on there now, so let me just go ahead and move it. So the only thing you really are going to need is that they do give you the um, squeegee on it. So the only thing you're going to have to mix is the IPA mixture and for the directions. And let's see if I can find the, the directions here. So you're going to mix one part alcohol to three parts water. So I have that in a spray bottle. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and, and that, that's just going to take off whatever um, oils and stuff are on the, on the headlight. Uh, but the waterless wash I have uh, should have done that, should have done most of the work. And then the only other thing I'm going to use is a heat gun, and I'll show you how to use that. So I'm just go ahead and move the cam, camera over. Uh, this time actually I'm on a tri tripod, so let me move this over so you guys get a better view. So hopefully you guys can get a good idea of what I'm going to do here. Let me adjust the camera some more. Now I'm wearing gloves. You don't have to wear gloves. I've actually installed them without gloves before. Just make sure you wash your hands. And if you're going to use the, the, the mixture, the alcohol mixture, uh, wet your hands too while you're at it. So let me just see if I got the right one here.
So you can see the way they're cut and the way they're going to sit. And all you got to do is peel back the adhesive um, here on the back. So let me just go ahead and put the other one down. I'm actually going to use a microfiber towel. And the reason I'm going to use that is I'm going to wrap the squeegee in the towel. Like so. So you just take the squeegee, just put it in there. This is a cheap Costco microfiber towel. And you're just gonna, I'm just going to use it like this. It's just to be able to, on the softer edge of things. So let me just go ahead and uh, unwrap, un start peeling this thing off. You can see it just uh, peels right off. It's pretty thick. I don't know if you guys can see how thick it is. It's, it's pretty thick for a headlight film. I said I've used this on my, on my 99 Grand Prix. I've had a previous set of lights and I, the film's been on there for three years and they still look per, uh, perfect. So it prevented any hazing. So what you're going to do is here's the mixture I have of IPA, uh, alcohol, and water. What you're going to do is just going to spray the, the back of the adhesive here. So you're just going to get it wet. And that'll allow you to move it around on the once you put on the headlight. So we're just going to line it up. And once you have it lined up, I mean, since you have that mixture in here, uh, you you have plenty of time to to move to move the film around, so it's not going to uh, tack up on you. So once you have it where you where you want it, just go ahead and take your squeegee that you have in your towel. And what you're going to do is you're going to start from the center out. Okay, you're going to force as much. Uh, much of that fixture out of the, the film so it can stick to it. So you can go up, um, you can go down, and you're going to squeeze out all that mixture. Just like I'm doing there. So you can kind of see where I started and you're just going to get all that mixture out of there. Another reason why I, I put the microfiber towel in here is because it absorbs the water that's coming out of the the film from the, the backing. Again, you're just going to go from center out. You can get as much fluid as out as possible. Now, when it's when you're taking the bend around the edge like this here, sometimes the film doesn't sit there very well when you're trying to squeegee out the the moisture. So what the, the best thing to use at that point is a heat gun. So let me just get as much of it as I can out of here. So see right here where it's starting to, it's still kind of bubbling up here. So what you're going to do is you're just get a heat gun. I got a, you know, nothing fancy, just a cheap one, a Harbor Freight. I'm just going to put on the low setting, and what you do is just going to just heat up the, the film. And this is just going to make it pliable so that it can stick. So I'm going to have to hit it with some more heat because it didn't want to stick here. Because these headlights take a sharp corner. There it goes.
that's all there is to it to get it, the film started. So I'm just gonna go over with the heat gun some more, and just to get as much of the adhesive to start sticking on here. And you can see it kind of took a nice bend here as soon as I heated it up, so it's actually sitting very well on there. And you just want to work in small sections. When there's no rush, take your time. Now once it starts to set up, uh, you'll see that the, the mixture, the alcohol mixture, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit, you can see that it leaves uh, residue, a little bit of residue behind. And that's okay uh, if you don't get all of it out. And I took the squeegee off to, so I can get more leverage on here. You're not going to scratch the film. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't think you guys can see it on here. There you go, you can actually see it. Right around here, in here, you can see the uh, mixture of alcohol and water in there. And what it'll do is, over time, while this, when the sun hits it, it'll evaporate. And actually put distilled water in my water bottle so that it um, evaporates with nothing be, uh, left behind there. So you'll, you'll have this uh, mixture on the bottom. Don't worry about it. It'll dry out after, over a few days and it'll look uh, perfect after that. So let me zoom back out. I'm just going to finish the rest of the headlight. Like I said, this stuff works really well. I like the Expel thing. And it'll, what it'll do is it'll, it'll protect your headlights from rock chips um, it'll actually prevent your headlights too from hazing and turning yellow and we all know how unattractive that that looks And there's really nothing to it. Anybody can do it at home. It just takes a little patience to, to install it. And once you install one, like I said, it's really easy to do. And it's really good preventative maintenance. It actually lasts longer than any wax or sealant or coating that you put on there. I mean, you guys saw how thick it was. I think it's like eight mils thick, I want to say. Enough to prevent uh, road rash from rock chips flying at you from trucks and cars on the road. And I ordered this kit straight from Expel. That's really all there is to it. And I got this laid down very well. I'm just going to go over it one more time.
you just get your, your edges so that they sit real snug. Or else it's going to lift up, lift off on you, or lift up on you, I should say. And it'll come right off, and then there goes your $50 or whatever you spent on your kit. Especially on these rounded corners. That's all there is to it. I mean, I'm gonna just let that sit overnight. Actually, I let it sit. Um, you know, when my dad has it, he'll have it and parked in the it's parked outside most of the time. But by the next few days, all the alcohol mixture will evaporate off, and you're good to go at that point. Now, if you want to go take it to the next step, you can actually go ahead and put. Anything you want on top of it, you can put a wax or a sealant on there. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the, um, the OptiLens coating on top. Uh, and this will actually, it's really not needed. Uh, I like putting it on there. It'll add some hydrophobic properties to the film. Uh, but it'll actually protect the film as well. So, um, again, it's completely optional to, to put anything on there. I'm just going to go ahead and, and put that on there. So let me do that real quick. This stuff's really easy to use too. Again, you can buy this at most online retailers or you can buy it straight from Optimum. So what you gotta do is you gotta take the um, oops, sorry about that. You gotta take this top piece off. So you might need some pliers and you just twist it off. And then that's it. You can see it turns. This is actually cured coating on here and it's like real powdery um, and it gets really hard on, on the film. It's a flexible coating on there. You're going to take the applicator tip yeah, you just want it tight enough, nothing really too tight. And before I put it on, let me go get something real quick so give me, a, give me about a minute. To apply the coating, you really want a, a clean surface so that the coating bonds to the to the film or the headlight itself. So what I have in my hand, I went and got is um, Optima Paint Prep. So this is going to dissolve any oil or waxes that are on on there. I mean, you, there's really nothing on there. This is just uh, a precaution I guess you know I'm a little OCD for this kind of stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just apply this you know just get another microfiber towel and you don't need a lot of it and so what you're just gonna do is you're gonna put maybe one uh, just to two sprays and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just wipe it down Nothing too crazy. So I'm going to flip the towel over and I'm just going to buff off and remove off anything that might have been left behind. But this will give you a clean surface to work with and apply the paint coat, the headlight coating. And you can use any, for applicator, you can use a foam applicator, you can use a suede applicator, but I'm actually going to use because I don't need to use a lot of product. This is actually a blue shop towel. 
they don't absorb a lot of product. Now you gotta, I'm just going to go ahead and just put some headlight coating on here. That's probably more than what I need. And Opto lens is kind of expensive. I think it's around $60 or somewhere around there. Maybe $50. Maybe it's going to apply it on here. Ideally, you want to put, uh, apply this with, when it's a little warmer. And I'm starting to lose daylight here. That's it. And all you gotta do is let that sit for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer. I'm gonna let this sit for about three minutes. So there you go. Just put my phone for three minutes on there. Uh, like I said, here are the directions to use this. Uh, again, just allow it to cure for three to five minutes and then remove any excess. And there's a, uh, if you don't have the paint prep, you can use 15% uh, solution of IPA. So we're just going to go ahead and just uh, let that set up for two minutes, three minutes, and I'll just buff it off. I'm going to Again, you, just, you don't need a fancy microfiber towel. This is just a old blue towel that this is. Good. I'm just going to toss it after this. So you can see it wasn't that hard to really in, uh, install the headlight film. Like I said, it's pretty thick. You know, it's eight mils or so. And Expel offers a lot of kits for for cars. Just go on their website, look for your vehicle, and see if they make one. Uh, if they don't, you can actually just buy the film and cut it yourself. And again, if you don't have a heat gun, you can actually use a hair dryer as well. So here's, I'm going to just read the thing again. You can kind of see what it says. So it says, it will not crack, yellow, shrink, peel, or damage your headlights in any way. It protects against rocks, stones, gravel, abrasion, bug acid, and weathering. Maintenance free. Won't damage your vehicle's aerodynamics or appearance. It's virtually invisible. And once I buff this off, I'll take you in a little closer and you guys can see the, um, that you really can't see the film on there. And once you apply it on there, uh, it looks really good. So once they come out with the, the fog light kit for the 2014 to 2017 Impalas, uh, you know, Expel is going to release an update to it. So just check with them. I haven't checked with them. I haven't checked back with them in a couple months, but I will to see if they got an updated kit. See, timer done. Hit stop. I'm just going to go ahead and buff off the coating. Now it will feel a little tacky. And that's perfectly normal. And what you're doing is you're just leveling out high spots so that it doesn't look so, you don't get any weird uh, marks on the, where it looks uneven. And then once you're done, just come back. And do a light buff. And then
then once this thing fully cures, it'll feel really slick. But for, the, for a little bit, it'll feel a little tacky at first. And that's all there is to it. So let me take you in. You guys can see the film a little closer. I'll just take the camera and kind of adjust so you guys can actually see. So here's where it takes that bend right here. So you can kind of see how the film kind of just blends right in. I mean, it's virtually invisible. So that's all there is to it. So just how to apply a, how to install the uh, Expel headlight kit on a 2015 Impala. Again, it's real easy to do. You, I mean, it took me, I mean, this video is saying that 27 minutes, but you saw everything I had to do that I ended up doing to get it done. It's really not a lot of work, so. Again, just go to Expel, check your, for your vehicle and see if they make a kit. And I'll see you for the next video. All right, thanks for watching.